Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Ultra Monitor. He made his first appearance in Justice League Volume 4, issue number 33, that was released in December 2018. He's the extremely powerful combination of the six dimensional beings known as Mar Novu, aka the Monitor, Mobius, aka the Anti Monitor, and Alpheus, aka the World Forger, who happen to all be siblings known as the Brothers Three and are the sons of the powerful cosmic being known as Perpetua. This combined Ultra Monitor has variable height and weight, although he seems to naturally manifest in a massive form, being approximately 12 to 15 feet tall, also having white eyes and black hair, and also carrying a combination of physical characteristics from his three constituent beings. Now, it should go without saying that the Ultra Monitor is extremely powerful, having nigh omnipotent power levels in every category. To put it into perspective, each one of his constituent beings has the strength and durability to easily overpower Superman and take simultaneous attacks from various superpowered beings. He can also teleport and has extreme levels of psionic abilities, in addition to having a degree of precognition as well as reality altering. Not to mention that their cosmic awareness is a combination of all of the vast knowledge of the different realities and various dimensions that make up existence. He's also immortal, seeing as how his constituent beings were all billions of years old, with the World Forger being the oldest of them all at 20 billion years plus. And that's true immortality, because if for some miraculous reason you were able to take him out, he would just resurrect in the sixth dimension. Now, eons ago, Perpetua created the Brothers Three to each represent an aspect of reality. They were supposed to work harmoniously together to bring a unique and elegant balance to the multiverse. But Perpetua's selfish ambitions would lead the brothers to turn on their mother, notifying the judges of the source wall of her treachery, and they would end up sending the infinitely powerful cosmic raptor to trap her in the source wall forever. At least, that's what we thought. Billions of years would go by, but eventually Perpetua would be released. And during the period of the Justice Doom War, the three brothers would once again stand up against their mother. Only this time, one of their tactics was to actually combine together to become the nigh omnipotent Ultra Monitor, who was at least as powerful as Perpetua in his base form and actually had the potential to become more powerful, with the Anti Monitor himself saying that he's never felt like he possessed such power. Ultra Monitor was charged by a shard of the totality that was in Starman's scepter with the totality being the oldest energy and knowledge source in existence, and was basically just the power core from which the multiverse was created. The ultimate goal of this fused being was to hold off Perpetua long enough for Starman to bring the other's totality fragments through hypertime, with all of the past and future Starmen working together to accomplish this. Initially, the Ultra Monitor was really showing up his mother, easily gaining the upper hand in their battle. But due to most of the people of Prime Earth siding with Doom and the loss of Hawkgirl's faith, the seventh hidden force of the universe was unleashed, which restored Perpetua to her full power. She would then break up this sibling party, reconstituting Mobius with the anti-life, which prompted him to separate from his brothers and join his mother's side. At least temporarily. But either way, that would mark the end for the short yet powerful run of the Ultra Monitor. Now. Due to his powers and abilities and his brief influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the Ultra Monitor a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.